Okay, here's another video of the installation of a mobile GDO and a garage door opener. This particular one is an M-Line 4700. What we've done here, you can see, mounted as usual on the support beams. But what's different about this model is the way the track is. See how it's inside this here? So what we had to do that was a little bit different is we mounted the sensor on this out part, on the outside of this enclosure. And then we actually only needed one magnet, go down here so you can see, one magnet on this inner piece. Now that's the part that slides on the inside of this kind of square channel. So now what happens is, is that's our closed sensor and it travels all the way along and then it lines up with the open sensor, which is on the same side of the track. Now what's important about this, the reason why we had to do it that way instead of mounting it to the chain is that inside part of the chain actually interferes with that. So you can't mount the sensor, you can't put the magnet on the chain on this particular one. So the point to take away from this video is that when you're installing your sensors for open and closed, you really have to be mindful of where you mount them to make sure that they're not going to interfere with any mechanical equipment. And you may have to be creative and come up with a way to mount it in a different, different situations. Uh, but in this one actually it worked out really well. It's on that center piece that travels all the way along and that same magnet lines up with that sensor and that's how you know if it's open or closed. You could use this technique on other ones as well. In fact, I might do a video to show you how to do that as well. But anyway, all the rest of the connections are the same. Power, open, closed and activate. There you go. Thanks for watching.